What's up, movie fans, and welcome back to the David Lee Movie Vlog. Now, if this is your first time here, this is the place where I go and talk about three of the stories that's happened in the world of cinema today, and I also do some movie reviews, and I just want to have this channel just as a place for me just to talk about films to the film fans. I'm not trying to be the best in the world, I'm just trying to be me, and that's only the best thing I can be, even though it is a piece of shit, but hey, it's me! So let's hit off with the first story of the day, is that the final Avenger trailer has hit. This one right here is like the best trailer I think out of all three. This is the one that just shows me what the story is going to be. And just to see Ultron just in his chair. He's just like, it looks like he's just playing with something. He's just like, I need to destroy the Avengers. I need to destroy my makers. And I love seeing the have, how you have Quicksilver in there, Scarlet Witch. And these are the two characters that really do need to set the tone and say, hey, I can stand my, on my own with all these other characters that is in the Avengers universe. And you just look at the trailer, you're just like, holy shit, this looks fucking awesome. Especially for Quicksilver. I mean, there's that one quick cut where you see him using his quick, his like running around ability, and it looks fucking awesome awesome now this movie may be a piece of shit i doubt it by the way i really do doubt it because these trailers these three trailers as a whole just get you excited for the film if you have never heard of avengers you look at these trailers and you're just like holy shit this looks epic i mean when you have all the ultrons just going after the avengers and the avengers just stand there ready you just feel like that the Avengers are overpowered. Like, like there's just so many Ultrons just coming at them. It just looks awesome. I mean, like this year, if you just look at what's coming out, it looks like it's going to be an epic year for the blockbuster and for the indie. And that just makes my little movie heart just that much more excited. It's like, fuck yeah. I love 2015. It's just looking like it's going to be a badass year. What do you guys think about? Let me know down below. Are you guys excited? I know I am. And if this is the final trailer, which I think it is, they done their self a good job with trying to sell this movie to the masses. Now, if only they could have gone in and said, hey, let's take Ant-Man, you know, that trailer that you guys did, that kind of sucked. I mean, like, it really didn't show anything and just kind of make fun of the Ant-Man name. Let's just take those guys that made the Avengers trailers and put them onto the Ant-Man project because you know that Marvel has all the money in the world. They could just pull those guys out and be like, hey, let's work on this film for now. Oh yeah, and plus, there is that last shot of Vision. He looked awesome. It looked more like he was more um, human face than mechanical. And I, I look at that, I was just like, shit, dude, that looks fucking awesome. Everything about that trailer Look fucking awesome. What do you guys think about it? Let me know down below. And on to my second story is that the Poltergeist film, the remake. Well, first off, let me tell you guys. I have never seen the first Poltergeist, or I've never seen the original Poltergeist film. I know, I know. People are like, you're not a movie fan. Pop, 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 pop. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sending out April for a month where I'm just going to go and like look at those classic films. And Poltergeist will definitely be one. But the remake has been put forward two months to the May 22nd. This, I mean, this film must be such high, like is ahead of schedule so far that they're like, okay, we can take it from its June release and put it into May. Is it going to work? I, I would like, I'll be very interested to look and to see if on that, um, around that time there'll be any other horror films. Because if not, this film could rack in the dough. Because that's the one thing about horror films. If one of them comes out like once a month, they will reap the awards. Because like horror fans will come out and see those films over, not really over and over, but they'll come out in the first week and just love the shit out of it. And if good word of mouth comes in, you'll see a good outcome from the second, third, and fourth week onward. If this film's good, which I'm hoping that it is, I'm hoping that every film is, this could be an awesome summer. And, like, watching that trailer, like, I, I'll probably most likely be having the trailer going on about right now. It just looks like you're like, holy shit, this looks like it's going to be freaky as fuck. Now, I, I'm not positive if it has a PG-13 rating or an R rating. Hopefully an R rating, because... Already in horror films, I feel like they're like, we could go as far as we want. Where PG-13 films, they feel like Ouija. I mean, like, just bullshit. Like, ugh. 
Oh God, why why did I have to remind myself about Ouija? Ouija, Ouija, Ouija. Oh God, that film fucking sucked. Now on to the third and final story of the day is that Eddie Redmayne's next film, Danish Girl, will be getting a November release date. Now this is the high time for the Oscar season. And you look at the story, and if you did not know, it's the story of the first transgender female really ever known. Uh, it's just about her life and how she just kept on living. I look at this, I just look at one still, and it's of Eddie Renme. I look at him just like, holy shit. Dude, you're, you're going for your second Oscar in a row? Who the fuck do you think you are? Like, really? Who the fuck do you think you are? You're, you go and you go and play in a film like Jupiter Ascending. And just, you give such a bad performance, but it's so bad it's good. And then I look at this and I'm like, holy shit, man. I could definitely tell when you did Jupiter Ascending, you need money bad. So you're like, hey, I'll, I'll be in anything you want. And now after Theory of Everything, he just has all the power and if these are the type of things he's gonna be doing god good for you i mean you just you like when i saw you holding that oscar and you giving that speech it felt like i if i would have won that's how i would act and to see that you're going after a second oscar in a row i don't know if you'll get it but i do know just from that one still and just knowing it's a november release and knowing that the studio is going to be backing behind you for a second time in a row you most likely will get an Oscar nomination. And, you know, I, I just love the Oscar time and knowing that now we're starting to get trinkled of what could possibly be the next uh, Oscar winner or the next Oscar contender. And that it most likely will be Danish Girl. So, what do you guys think about all these stories? Let me know down below. As always, people, my name is David Lee. And if you like what you've seen here, go, please go and subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow.